Nico Hines had an enjoyable birthdays with Paul Gallon. Yeah, down here with Nico Hines. Nico, that's a pretty solid victory. Yeah, it is. Um, you know, we've done what we want to do. We fixed our defence from last week. That was a very uncharacteristic performance last week from the whole team. And um, yeah, we wanted to put on a show today. And um, there's still plenty of improvement, but that's a set start. That's a start. How about for yourself, mate? You've had a, a bit of a tough week, an indifferent week, but uh, you came in here today and you, and you performed the way you should. You happy with your performance? Oh, look, there's still a couple of things um, that went against me in uh, a couple of errors. But look, I'm just really happy to get out of here and play footy and um, win a game with the Sharks. And, Look, I've been off socials. I haven't seen any of it, and I don't really care, to be honest. And all I can control is what I can control, and, and training hard and playing good footy. And I'm just really glad. And I hope I've done that for the team tonight. You did, mate. It's a great attitude, also. Now it's uh, Britain across 100th game and your birthday today. So a pretty good celebration for you too. Yeah, for sure. And we really wanted to honour uh, Britt tonight by putting a really good performance and, and effort. And he plays well and puts effort in every single week for us and I'm just really, really proud that I get to play alongside him and um, yeah, hopefully we can we can celebrate and have a, a few quiet beers and um, enjoy the bye. We've got a bye next week and we've got 10 games in the row after that so we've got to work extremely hard. I was going to say the bye next week, you're going away anywhere or just relaxing in the Shire? No, I think I might go up and see my good mate Aaron Booth. Um, you know, I haven't seen him in a while and, you know, and he's been going through a fair bit with that injury and um, yeah, I just really want to go up and spend some time up there, switch off and stay away from all the noise and just really get back to being Nico Hines, the, the human, and, and come back and, and play some good footy. Hey, good on you, mate. You're our team today. Congratulations. Over to you, Emma. Thanks, Gal. Well, Hayes Perham, really tough night. How do you sum up that performance? Oh, I guess you said it was just a tough night. You know. It's pretty gutting, you know. We train hard, you know, every day of the week and to come out and dish out something like that, you know. It's just unacceptable. We look good at times there in certain parts of the matches, but um, yeah, at the end of the day, it's just not good enough. They got beat on some real poor, you know, effort areas there, so yeah, not much to say. Missing some troops, and I know you won't use that as an excuse, but can you put your finger on where it went wrong? I know you mentioned the effort areas, but can you put your finger on anything? Oh, just, just that really, you know, we can't come out here and, you know, get beat on effort, you know, if, if a team's better than us on the day, which, you know, Sharkies were, you know, we want to say it's down to the skill and you know and, and whatnot, but you know when our uh, effort gets questioned out there, that's when it's pretty um, you know disappointing for for us. So yeah. I know you got the bye week. We have a few days off to really regroup. Yeah, yeah, definitely. You know, it's all about sticking together, especially in these tough periods of, of the season. So we've still got um, you know a few matches left to you know chase chase that top top eight, um, which is our goal for the year. So yeah, we'll regroup um, and we'll just try you know stay together and stay connected. All the best. We'll see you next time. Thanks, Hayes. Thank you. Over to you, Gal. Thanks, Emma. Yeah, down here with Jaden Bradley. Oh, <laughs> me, oh, sorry, Blake Bradley. Bray, I think of the better Bradley. Blake Bradley, that's a good win, mate. Yeah, it was good. It was, um, you know, it was a tough week after that Storm game, but um, glad we could come home and turn around and put on a few tries. Yeah, mate, I thought you, your ball player had done me half today. It was outstanding. You were dangerous, you had a dummy half, and you had a couple of try assists. Must be happy with that. Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, it's the back of the front rowers there. They, they laid the platform there. They ran hard, and I was lucky enough to run and, you know, get a few joys through the ball there. So it was a good night for myself. Mate, you're passing for dummy half. It's so crisp, so fast. Gets from the ground to the halfback straight away. How much do you work on that? Yeah, a lot, actually. Um, you know, every session I, you know, pass a lot. I pass, you know, up to 50, 60 times every session. So... Um, you know, as a hooker, it's your, your main role there, and I want to nail that. And I'm glad I could, you know, pass pretty well and provide the ball to the halves who can create some special things on the edges. Just one last question, mate. What's it like to be the shortest person here at Sharp Arte? <laughs> hey, you know, I'm just taller than you know that, don't you? I'm actually going to claim it. Sifa Talikai is actually the shortest, but he's actually the widest. So. Yeah, Sifa is short. Sifa is short. Uh, you reckon we're taller than Sifa? For sure. Maybe not wider. Maybe you, but uh, we're definitely taller. Uh, we're definitely taller. That's it for the Sharkies. Great win by the Sharky boys. Back to you, Danica.